Hey guys, uh, this is Jack here, and I'm um, recording this video in a different setting. This is my backyard, and I wanted to show you, uh, well, first, a uh, really good test of the HDR photography on the iPhone 4. So we're here with um, iPhone OS, this is an iPhone, iPhone, and um, I'm on 4.1, or 8B117, uh, which is a version. So let's go into the photo app, and let's go on outside to my yard, or outside the yard. And let's just take a picture. Let's just go back a little bit. And uh, let's just take a picture. Oops, I'm on the... Okay, there you go. So let's... Oh, it's in video mode. Let's just turn it on to camera mode. And let's just take a picture of this. Alright, so that's... So what you see here is this is the non-HDR image. Let's click done. Let's enable HDR. Because that's a new option. HDR is off, let's tap it, HDR becomes on, and let's take another picture. So as you can see, it takes a little bit while to take, save it HDR, uh, because it is taking three pictures, one under, one over, and one at normal exposure. So this is the, I'm not sure if you can see it well, because again, there's reflections and such, I'll try to stay in the shade or something. Um, this is the HDR version, you see, see there's green, the green is really uh, apparent. There's no shadowing. There's no, um, you know, like dark areas. This is the this is the non HDR version. As you can see, the green isn't that. It's kind of washed out, and there's kind of shadows some places. And the sky behind is really just white. Here it's a little bit more blue. It's more manageable. See, there's more green here. And uh, this this was actually a, a bit overexposed. It's now underexposed. And it's a very vibrant picture. So I'll upload these um, samples onto the web. All right. So let's take another one. Um, let's just try a different setting. Okay, hold up, guys. All right, so we have a lot of. This is a kind of the. Oops. Okay, so this is kind of where I live, and um, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go too, up too far because I do have homework to do after this. So let's just take a picture of uh, this. Let's just, you know. Okay, so it's saving the HDR. I'm gonna go in the shade here, try to not get any of the reflections, but it's kind of hard. Um, so this is the HDR, as you can see, it's, I'm trying to block all the glare. Um, so this is the HDR, as you can see, it's very green, the, the sky is blue, the sky is very blue, it's not, it's, it's kind of whitish blue, but um, it's, it's really, really clear. And this is the non-HDR version, as you can see, it's not as, the greens here are more apparent, more deep and rich, here just kind of washed out, especially in this area here. Here it's more green and bright and just lush looking. Let's just take uh, a couple more photos and then we'll have to go back inside. My mom's kind of not letting me do this because I do have homework. Let's take a picture of this tree. Okay, so um, I'm going to take one more after this and then I have to go back in. So, oops, let's go back here and see in the shade. So, uh, this is the HDL version. As you can see, that the greens here are very apparent. The sky is not that white, it's not washed out. Here's the the non-HDR version. I think as you can see, there's a big difference in the coloring. The more see this see here especially it's more green, and then the wall is not washed out here. It's very uh, light green, and the wall is washed out. Um, and let's see if I can notice any more. This is kind of like find Waldo games. Like you find the difference between two pictures. So yeah. Um, if you have any more, if you notice something that I didn't notice, like a specific area, tell me that as well as which image. Um, let's just take one more, and then I'll have to go back in. Let's just go out here. Let's take a picture of that. Um, here. Let's try this one, because there, there are shadows on the wall. Okay. Took the HDR, and uh, let's go back in the shade. I have to go back anyway, so let's head back, and I'll show you the pictures on my way back. So here's, actually this is a nice spot. Okay, so here's the HDR version. I think you see there's uh, it's very green on the bottom. There's no shadowing. The sky is very nice blue. Here I think there's there's a lot of shadow. See no shadow. Um, well, it's brighter and no shadow. And here it's just a very dark area. Here the green is more apparent. Here the green is very dark. Um, over here it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more exposed here. Like it's not as a, it's not a lifelike green. Here's more of a lifelike green. So there are a few little bugs and or not bugs, but like you know. A uh, few little errors that it might make when calculating the exposures and so non-HDR, HDR. HDR.
So that's pretty much it. Um, I just want to show you guys the, you know, hands-on capabilities. I didn't speed up this video at any time, at, you know, for any reason. Let me close the door here. So I didn't, um, it's a really old door. So I didn't, like, you know, speed up the process or manipulate any of the images. I took them from my front, my backyard. Um, so they're, like, the real, it's a real life test. Um, we're going to head back to my door now. And that's pretty much it for this video of HDR. So it's actually a pretty good software. Um, I recommend it to you guys. It's a great update to, oops, sorry about that. Actually, for just for fun, let's see how that turned out. Uh, let me find it. Okay, so this is apparently the HDR, and this is a non-HDR. As you can see, the HDR version just basically takes the best exposures of each uh, part of the image and combines them into one. So as you can see here, it's very washed out. Here you can kind of see my shadow, and here it's just very, it's like, you can't even see my shadow. It's hella, hella washed out. Yeah. So, that those are just the main differences, I suppose. Um, HDR just makes the photos much more manageable, much or much more... Um, vibrant and whatnot so back in my house and i have to go soon so thanks guys for watching this video please follow me on twitter um the usual stuff thanks guys for watching uh please subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys later and just uh just to guys give you a little bit of tease um this is my of my setup and how i'm gonna do a video about that later on just a quick flash this is my setup and i'll do a video going over everything that's changed about my setup or everything anything that's new in my setup as we go along and that and here is I'll also go over this area, which is basically where my iPad would sit normally, but it's in currently in use on my desk. So, yeah. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, so uh, I have to go. Bye, guys. I'll catch you guys.